What's up you guys, it's TJ from Advanced Training and today we're gonna go over one of my personal favorite skills that you can add as a guard that'll really help you get your layups off quicker and also throw the defense's timing off when they're trying to block your shot. And that's gonna be the one hand scoop layup. Now the one hand scoop layup is not easy to master because it takes a lot of ball control for you to be able to pick the ball off of the floor and be able to go straight up into your shot. It's also going to require you to really work on your touch to be able to get the ball off the backboard and to be able to finish from different angles and different heights off the backboard. So as you're gonna see in some of these clips, the ball is going to go quickly to the rim at a low angle. Sometimes that ball is gonna kiss the top of the glass like that one right there. And I'm also really working on trying to jump off the same side foot as the ball. So my right foot and right hand on that one. Sometimes I go left hand, left foot. But we're not going to break down my game. We're going to break down Javon Quinterly from Alabama, who I think is one of the best at doing this in live game situations. So we'll get right to it. As you can see here, Javon Quinterly is taking a wide attacking angle around Dexter Dennis from Texas A&M. And then he's really working on keeping an active off arm. That's another really good benefit to this one hand scoop layup is you can use that off arm and continue to maintain contact to keep the defender away from your body. Now, what I mean from a, uh, what, what I mean for a wide attacking angle is as you see, since he is up around the logo, there's a lot of space for him to work with on the court. It wouldn't make a lot of sense for him to try to beat Dexter Dennis straight downhill. Instead, he attacks outside of his frame and then turns the corner once he's outside of his body. So we see here he goes wide, jumps left foot, finishes left hand. There's no help there, so it doesn't really matter about the shot blocker, but you can see he has the active off arm right there, and it keeps the Dennis from being able to get back into that play. Now here he shows great pace. Uh, he changes height. He goes high to low, slow to quick, gets Henry Coleman off balance, and then right as Henry Coleman is getting ready to block that shot. He's up off that right foot, right into that finish before he can get to it. Great job by JQ getting that shot off before Henry Coleman could get to the basketball. Now here you'll see again, he does take another wide attacking angle. He's not going straight downhill. He's at half court. And so his initial driving lane is outside the defender's frame. And then he turns that corner and gets downhill. Now, the great one about this is how high he kisses this one off the glass. I mean, if you watch it, this dude is hitting it above a seven footer, above another guy who I believe is six, 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 seven. And that thing is touching way up on the backboard and then just dropping straight down in. So like I said, it's going to require a lot of really great touch, which is something that you're going to have to work to perfect. On this one, again, he shows great patience. He sees that the help defense is there on the hedge of that screen, but he just kind of probes and waits for him to leave to go back to his man. And then he decides to attack. And again, just really quickly picks it up off the floor and goes straight up into that left-hand layup. This time he jumps off two feet. He goes uh, right, left, I believe right here. Boom, right, left, straight up into it. But he still shields the defender off with that off arm that he's not using. Uh, because he's picking the ball up with one hand. Now here in this play, he does a great job kind of just relaxing before quickly attacking again. So we're going to run that back real fast, but he snatches and then he goes right back into attack mode and really throws this guy off his game. So he lifts up on both feet coming off of the floor, drops back down, goes between that leg and then explodes with a super quick first step right by the guy and then gets again the shot off before the shot blocker can get there by jumping same foot, same hand, and jumping off that first step, which again, throws the defender's timing off. He's up into his shot before the shot blockers even left the floor. Now on this one, he does a great job with the move, but this is just a tough finish. So as you can see on the move, again, he lifts both feet off the ground and pushes away from the direction he wants to drive. He's trying to drive middle here, so he pushes towards the baseline side and then crosses over and attacks that top hip. Same foot, same hand across the lane for the finish. I'm telling you guys, this is something that you can add to your game today, and it's going to help take your finishing to another level. It's going to help you get your shot off around guys who are athletic and can block shots. But it's something that you're going to have to put a lot of time and effort and practice into to get right. But it's super beneficial. Stay tuned. I'm going to drop a workout for this specific skill soon.